Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. We will begin per usual with our opening prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come into your holy presence asking that you forgive all of my sins. Hear this prayer, Lord, in reverence and in gratitude for all of your goodness, for all of your faithfulness towards your children, for giving us the life and the ability to come into your presence, Lord, and call on your name and know that you are willing to put down your ear to earth, Lord, bring down your presence and fill us and let us know that you are near. Let us know that you are with us, right next to us, even in our darkest hour when we feel completely alone or that nobody else is willing to hear us, Lord. You are the one who is there faithfully listening to our pleas, faithfully wanting to help us to respond to our pleas, Lord. We pray that you are with all the children who are going through trials and tribulations, if anybody is feeling sick, if anybody is going through a healing process, Lord, we pray that your mighty hand be over them, that you guard their hearts, that you give them the faith that they need to pursue on, to keep on, to believe that you are the one who can restore their health completely and entirely those who are faltering in the faith as well. Lord, we pray that you tend to them, that you as that faithful shepherd go to your sheep and let them know that you are their pastor, that you are their creator, their leader, and you are with them and you don't want them to be astray and you want to bring them back, Lord. If they are wavering in their beliefs, we pray that you clarify their minds, that you bring that light and that truth back to them, whatever it is they might need, Lord, that you may fill any void that they might be feeling. All of our plans are in your hands, Lord Father. Everything that we have in mind to do, from the least important to the most important, we ask that you bless each part of our day, from the morning until the night, from when we wake up, until we lay down and go to sleep, that you be our watch, that you be our lighthouse, that you be that God who is constantly watching over his children. We praise you and we magnify you, Lord, and we ask for all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our devotional for today is titled Gratitude, written by Milagros Quintero, translated by Nelson Bidas and taken from the book Mesa de Fe, page 102. Our biblical base is in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 28. So says the word of God. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Amen. May we be blessed through the reading of his word. Gratitude. According to the OELA, Office of English Language Acquisition. Gratitude is the feeling that forces a person to appreciate the benefit or favor that another has done or wanted to do and to reciprocate in some way. How beautiful it is when this feeling can sprout from our being for a good that has been done to us, for a gesture of love. We give back to that benefactor in some way and let him know our gratitude. But how marvelous it would be if, in this way, or in a very special way, we could send our thanks to our God. Thank you, Lord, for your love, for your faithfulness, for your delivery, and every blessing. Let everything that breathe praise the Lord, with motivation, with joy, with faith in him, with an offering and praise. 
in the world you will have affliction said christ but our trust is in him because he overcame the world and we can also do it because he strengthens us and his mercy is still with us do not get tired of giving glory and honor to the one who deserves it all to the only one worthy and deserving of your praise because even if you slip and fall he allows you to get up and continue so as we receive an unshakable kingdom let us have gratitude and through it let us serve god pleasing him with awe and reverence amen may we re may god receive all the honor and the glory gratitude is one of the most beautiful emotions we can possess when we are thankful everything we have is enough everything we experience is positive or ends up having a positive result when we are grateful we focus on the good and it's a boost for our faith but if we were to sit down and write down everything god has done for us for our lives we simply wouldn't have the time even the energy the paper the pen not sufficient anyway to list all of his abounding goodness and thank him specifically for all of it but what we can do my brothers and sisters is live a life of constant faithfulness i think that is the best way to demonstrate to give back to express to the lord just how thankful we are for everything that he has done for us and as the article says it would be nice if we can sit down and write him a thank you letter and he would know of it but even that wouldn't be enough i think if we can sing a song as an offering lift a prayer he would gladly accept it he gladly accepts that but if it's occasional and only when we remember that still wouldn't be enough my brothers and sisters the key in this demonstration of gratitude i believe is through a life of consistent worship through obedience and reverence a life of sacrifice to our flesh to our addictions to our carnal impulses to our human centered ideas a sacrifice to that and giving all of that up for god that is what truly reflects our gratitude actions speak more than words right and if we really want god to know just how thankful we are if we feel that immense gratitude for all he's done the least we can do is live that life one where god is the center of it all where he is glorified through our actions and his name is exalted through our faithfulness may god receive all the honor and the glory i pray that you are blessed through this devotional my dear friends and that all of our days not only on the sabbath or when we go to church but all of our days be a sincere demonstration an offering to show that gratitude to that god almighty who has saved us and before we end the session i kindly invite you to go over to our youtube channel scc english ministry for our daily bible reading so we can continue being fed and nourished with his beautiful word and now we ask that the blessed love of god the grace and peace of our lord and savior jesus christ the companion and communion of the holy spirit our great counselor be with all of his children now and forever amen this was your sister kaylee castaneda wishing that you have a fantastic day